everyone, it's Ryan Zombie. Welcome back to the Great Unknown Houdini's Castle. So, we just found a lens for this telescope, and we're pretty much at this point just walking around the mansion or castle. We're not sure what kind of building we're in, looking for clues, and we have this film reel. So, let's go back to the cinema room and see what is on here. Ooh. One day, Houdini was walking down a busy street. He saw a young boy performing a little magic show for the crowd. He soon discovered that the boy was homeless and alone. Aww. He took a liking to the boy and offered to teach him tricks of his trade in the castle in the mountains. Soon, Houdini adopted him. Okay, so we are in a castle. His name was Alan Whitehead. Okay. Use the projector to watch any film reels you find. Drop reels onto this button or the projector. Oh, okay. That's really cool. Okay. So we are going to learn the history of this place through film. That's really neat. Okay, where in the world do we go now? There's the middle gate. Okay, I need a break. Mm, okay, another reel. I was able to repair a broken film reel. It tells more of Whitehead's story. Apparently, he was Houdini's adopted son. Okay. Ah, oh, here we go. <clears throat> this is an association minigame. Start by clicking the carrot. Okay. And... Ah! Rabbit. Okay. So, banana goes to the monkey. Okay. And... Oh! Wasn't sure what that was, but... Plaster of Paris. Okay, that makes sense. Just wondering why the motor and pestle would go with that, but okay. Okay. So we miss the water with that. Oh, this is how we can make the hand! Make it out of plaster. Okay. To the yard, to the barn, here, plaster, water, close, open, hand. Okay. Go to the door. There we go. Did he make a mold of Houdini's hand? I'm hoping that was while he was alive and not post-mortem. Okay. 1926. One, Sarah Kingley, a natural psychic, but she couldn't hold his spirit long enough. 1932. Number two, Amanda Campbell. Useless. She lost consciousness during her first session. Number three, Rita McLynn. Another fake. However, she did assist me with my new trick. A pity that she died. N 1935. Number four, Lori. A gypsy woman. Too powerful. She nearly killed me with her power kinetic power. Okay... We have something in our journal about that. More victims. This is horrible. How many people has he murdered looking for the right person? It sounds like there are people um, being possessed by a spirit. I need something to open this box. Can the screwdriver do it? No. Can the rock do it? No. Oh, there's a second weight. 
Okay, two weights now. Huh. We had a record. There you go. Oh. It looks like a ticket. Okay. And... Oh. Gear is tightly screwed into the lock. We have a screwdriver. Okay, cogwheel. Sometimes when you think about these characters, to my dear friend Harry Houdini from Thomas Edison. Oh. <laughs> um. So Houdini was friends with Thomas Edison. That's certainly interesting. Um, it makes you wonder about like characters and hidden object games, how they're like taking random things apart, like things they they've never encountered, taking random things apart and then using them in other things like you have to definitely suspend a, a, a good a good amount of disbelief to not question like why did you take that why did you take apart the clock <laughs> you know okay so this thing about doing these games you're like on the right track to doing something and then you don't know what's next Edison's gift it's a gramophone given to Houdini by Thomas Edison. Shouldn't something like this be in a museum? <laughs> it reminds me of Indiana Jones. It belongs in a museum! Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> I was thinking about, like, putting the screwdriver through here to, like, push the latch, but... Yeah! Use the rock. <laughs> Break the glass. Okay? Into the barn! Oh. Right tool to remove these. So we need a winch. Oh. There's photos of Houdini. Oh, it's a wand! Challenge Houdini, Regent Theater. Okay, there's a pickaxe. Need to knock this block away if I want to move the barrel. That's not terrifying at all. Wow, that's a creepy animation. How about I stop the table saw before I put my hand anywhere near the blade? <laughs> okay, stop button is gone. So as I said um, in a previous episode at the beginning that this had a connotation of being a horror game and yeah, this is what I was referring to. Oh dear, I must find a way to make the stairs stay up. Is gear missing? There we go. You must be careful. Whitehead is desperate to bring back Rachel. She's trapped in the house. in our journal about that. No. We're just going to ignore that? Okay. Oh. Discover the correct pattern by playing the marked keys.
There you go. Oh. Canvas piece. It just looks like a broken TV. Could it be hiding something more? So we're not going to talk about the fact that a person on there just spoke to us. Why would someone take the knobs off a broken TV? Okay. That's also creepy. Not as much as this. This is... Well, let me rephrase that. This is more creepy than this. Okay, so this is another association game. I'm gonna take it the garlic goes with the vampire. Okay, so this uh, article says Houdini's death not caused by a student's punch. In reality, it, it was, but in this game, they're creating a, an entirely different uh, world. So they're putting that in there as like an Easter egg. Uh, oh, it's Inkwell. Oh, because Octopi have ink. Oh. I definitely prefer the hidden object game as opposed to the word association game. That was not easy. Okay, so we have a pen. Nothing else in here. Okay, but we can put that uh, canvas piece back up where the fireplace is. Oh wait, we have a wrench for this. Oh, one of these games. <laughs> Click and drive the box to clear the pack for the path for the latch. Okay. There we go. Not as difficult as most games I play with that mechanic. To the cellar. Okay. Just as I said that, something got in my eye. needs buttons. That's a broom. Ah, oh, it's a stop button that we're looking for. Okay, so now we can stop the saw. Ah, oh, it's a note. Congratulations, you've passed your first test. But there are plenty more ahead. Whitehead. To stop a saw blade was the first test. Okay. Another note. I wish he was joking when he said more tests lay, lay ahead for me. What will I have to do next? This weird dude. Still trying to find out what trick he's trying to do. The game is focused on Rachel, but I'm still thinking back to um, when he was at Houdini's funeral. What trick was he referring to? Okay, let's go back to the fireplace. Put this up here. Huh. Okay. And we can do that trick. Okay. 
There's the wand. There's a shawl. And... It's a tusk! Okay. I can see why no one's heard of him, but that was the trick. Just the boar's tusk until the mouth opens. There we go. Tweezers! Metal gate. Break the chains. Can we use the pickaxe? No, we can't. Tweezers? No. That won't break it. You know, a bunch of stuff. Okay, can we use the tweezers? Yes, we can. <laughs> and I just realized that's a dead parrot skull. Okay, go back here. Okay. Pickaxe. What is what's there? A key. Padlock key. No, not there. Do we need to break the chains or do we still need to break the chains or can we um open the gate? No, we just have to break the chains. Okay. Oh wait, I know where. But she said she wasn't able to reach it. Nope. Okay. Hmm. What is that? Wooden lever. Okay. Can we use that on the tree? No. I forgot where we need a lever. Oh, it's a hidden object scene. Nope, it's word association. I'll be right back when I finish this. Okay. So, the association with this word was the finger. And I was wondering what this was in this little cubby here. And it's the button to the register, to the cash register. And you need to use your finger to press the button in the cash register. That was not fun. Okay. So. Open this. Okay. What is that? Glue! I have so much stuff here. We haven't even used this weight, which is like the first thing we got. Okay, so we're here in the cellar. Places here. I'm trying to press the buttons. Oh, we need glue. No? Oh, I just noticed the film that was here. So we can use the film and the glue to repair uh, what was in the cinema room. Thanks to modern advances, when I did this, I used uh, scotch tape. 
Okay, we have another film reel. Oh. What? Okay. It just broke out of there. Was another canvas piece. Let's watch a movie. Famous magician Harry Houdini had a successful life and nearly everything he wanted. Sunny performances, the love of the crowd, glory, mo money. Except one thing, he and his wife had no children. Okay. Film reel. Houdini had nearly everything he wanted except for a child of his own. Okay. But we have another canvas piece. And it looks like we only need one more piece to complete this. But we will do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.